Hey up. That's a bit different, isn't it? Walking on, sitting down. Usually I'm like holding it like that, I don't know. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, put this on because I haven't been home long. And I apologise, look a right state donor. Uh, I've been cutting grass with an, another lawnmower I bought. Got an obsession with lawnmowers anyway, that's a different story. Uh, so, today I received uh, a letter and a packet from somebody what's obviously been watching me on here. Adrian, burn it. Who lives in Leeds? Here's a letter that he sent me. And reading it, I genuinely welled up because there is some unbelievably nice people out there. We always seem to see badding people on you know news and stuff like that. But if we just take a step back and look round, there's some unreal people. I don't know this guy. I've got no idea who he is. But when I got back today from going at Mortary, Cheryl says, there's a box come for you. And a letter. And I opened the letter and as soon as I saw YouTube, I thought, oh God, I've said something wrong. I've been swearing too much. I've upset somebody. It's the first thing I ever think about. By the way, if you can't hear me, turn it up. And because we're at home, you'll not hear anybody say, Oh, it's a poodle. No, they won't, because nobody says it here. If they did, visitors, they'd be thrown down path. Anyway, it's a poodle's in house. With Cheryl watching some at a bar. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Knights Templar and Treasures. She's right into that. So we're, we both are, actually. But anyway, this is the parcel that come today. I'm wasting your time and you're all thinking well what would in parcel get on with you, fatty well that's another point to this because I stopped smoking about seven years since and since I stopped smoking believe it or not you can believe it because you've seen it I'm fat I'm getting fatter I'm gonna lose weight I thought how can I lose weight well what made me start to put weight on when I stopped smoking I went on to my electric fag which I still love, don't get me wrong. So today, I read this letter from Adrian. And I'm not going to read it because it's a letter to me, not to you. But I want to say, Adrian, you've blew me away today. Because this guy, who's never met me, sent me this. I don't know if you can see this. Now, before you all get on to the phone or took coppers and think it's it's growing weed it's not it's not dog poo i thought that's what it were when i first opened it up i thought some some sod has sent me dog shit through posts because these were all on top anyway <clears throat> back to the story these are all different brands of pipe tobacco which he sent me to try loads of it Pipe tobacco is not cheap. It's not a cheap do when you smoke a pipe. Now that bit, I'm itching. That bit were amazing. But then, Aid sent me this as well. Because you thought, when I said a few weeks since, I've took to smoking a pipe. Elementary, my dear Watson. He's also sent me a pipe to try. And this pipe is different to mine. It has a filter inside it. So I'm 100% tonight going to try this pipe. Because Cheryl says it keeps flies away while we're outside. She don't mind me smoking this. She's a cheeky son. Anyway, a pipe come through post and a load of tobacco. Oh, and another packet of tobacco. God. I'll not read what it says on it. It's horrible the messages they put on, don't they? Good job they don't put it on beer. Oh, talking of beer. I'm having a can as well. So, oh, you can see I've just cut grass. It's all over can. Anyway, back to uh, what I was telling you. 
pipe cleaners that I'm going to try out. Very important kit for a proper pipe smoker. What else is there? Ah, in here. I ain't even opened this. I've not even looked in it. Ten filters. In fact, these packets of filters, they're all over the place. But they were all in that pouch. Going to be a proper smoker and a pouch. Then this. Wow. Proper bit of kit. Do you know something? I know people think I'm mad. That pipe is so relaxing, so comforting from stresses of everyday life. And I'm not saying like I'm going to smoke a pipe all the time. But to me, when I've had my tea, oh, this is back to this. This is brilliant. This is a proper bit of kit for cleaning your uh, pipe. Beautiful. Adrian, genuinely. Seriously, I honestly cannot thank you enough for this. Adrian lives down in Leeds. It's about 36 miles from Sheffield. And I'm definitely gonna meet this guy without a doubt. Because that one act of kindness today meant everything to me. It were unbelievable. I only mentioned a bit back on YouTube that I'd bought a pipe up in Lake District and some tobacco nearly choked on it honest to god nearly blew my head off I went because <sighs> you see Popeye do it and all puffs of smoke come out and you think well it's easy <laughs> oh god it's not but I love it now I'm getting more used to it I can't wait to try that one what Aid sent me as I said you tonight or today blew me away <laughs> There's so many nice people out there. And I go by thinking, thinking, if we do one nice thing for somebody every day, that's amazing, it makes a difference. It don't have to be a lot. Last week, me and Dave Emingham, my motoring manager, were up at Motormania. A car spares near us, up near us. I'd call him for uh, one of them phone things, what sticks to dash for Cheryl, because she's always dropping a phone in my car. She puts it on dash and then next thing it's all over the place. Usually falls on floor and it's arse it, listen. Just like that, we past. Uh, it's usually right peaceful and tranquil and then next thing they go flying past. So, uh, we call him for one of these phone things for Cheryl for him, my car, because phone falls off and it's Sid. While I were in there, there were a lady in and she says, you Michael Fogg. And I thought, well, here we go. We'll start saying that. Oh, it's uh, Jack Russell. Not Jack Russell. Poodle. That's that beer. Uh, oh, it's Michael Fogg. Anyway, I said to this lady, uh, she was lovely. And I says, I am. But I already know. She started laughing. She says, I follow you on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and she'd gone outside with lad who works in there to put... He was putting a windscreen wipers on car. So as I bought this thing, I says, put that on my account. Uh, so I bought her windscreen wipers. And when she came back in as I was leaving, I said, tell her to her. And they obviously told her on desk. Mix paid for them. And she just, look on her face, she just looked so overwhelmed. And she says, thank you so much, you didn't need to. I know I didn't. I know I didn't. Crystal Peaks a few weeks since an old lady were putting some stuff on checker and it just says we'll pay for them. It were about three quid if that, but it made that old woman's day we are a doubt. So Adrian, today you've made my day. I will be testing this pipe out and giving my reactions. If anybody else wants to send me something to try and put it on this channel. Uh, you know, I'm right into Range Rovers, as you know. Uh, plug there for Range Rover. Uh, no, I've got one. I don't need to. I'm going to leave you because I've been on 10 minutes wasting your time. But I was that touched today by one simple act of kindness. 
I want to thank you all for liking this channel, for subscribing to it, and for following me. Because uh, when I first did this, I just thought nobody's gonna follow me on there. You know, they all want to see. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Like young kids and that, not fat old men. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but it's amazing, and some of the comments. I love reading them. I read them all, every single one. In fact. I answer them all as well, which is good. I am not want to run out of time and I'm going to get my tea because I can see Shell going like that. Come on, fatty. Uh, no, she's not. I'm only kidding. She should do because I am. I wear all the pies. By smoking, I might lose some weight. You never know. I'll live less, but if I carry on putting weight on, I'll have an heart attack. Can't win, can you? Know what I mean? Might as well go out in a blaze, as they say. I've got to go because... That's a message from one of my team. Have the most amazing evening. I know you're going to say, don't smoke that pipe. I'm not going to go fucking mad with it. I'm just going to have a puff every now and again. Maybe once a day, maybe twice. It's relaxing me. And that's what's important. I don't want to live to 90 and not have no quality of life. I don't want to live to 65, be right fat and have an heart attack. So what got me fat was smoke, not smoking. So I'm going to have a couple of fags a day, see if I lose any weight. If that fails, I'll do some exercise. But that's last resort, obviously. The last resort everybody should take is exercise. 